Good morning, my name is Hesun Kim, advisor of Gangnam Labor Law Firm. Today, uh, with lab, uh, Labor Attorney Jung Bong Su, we will discuss about uh, <coughs> an article published today by Labor Daily, mm -hmm. which is regarding the uh, railway labor union strike. Uh, they were on the strike on, on the recently, and they will come back to uh, move ahead with the strike again on the second time. So could you explain about background of this action? Uh, hello, uh, how are you today? Uh, this is uh, Bong Su Jung, Korean labor attorney. Yes, uh, I, I'd like to explain the uh, railroad workers' uh, unions strike. So it has been taken from uh, like uh, the September 14th to uh, the uh, September uh, 18th uh, this morning. So they just finished uh, taking uh, this collective action. So it has caused a lot of uh, the like uh, disputes or uh, some inconvenience to the normal people who uh, uh, use uh, the railroad services like uh, KTX or subway train. So uh, this, uh, their strikes has uh, um, caused a lot of uh, inconvenience to the public. So, but still it is uh, uh, possible by law. So when uh, labor union uh, go on strike, um, it is accepted as uh, one of their legal rights protected by our Constitution and Labor Union Act. So how is possible is uh, um, Article 33 of the Constitution uh, the uh, regulate there are three rights of workers uh, like uh, right to uh, independent association that means uh, make a labor union also, they have a right to negotiate with the uh, employer, and they uh, also there are no agreement. Then, you know, to get more bargaining power, then they um, go on strike to get more bargaining power. So, these are three rights of uh, workers. Uh, I mean, labor union. So. Uh, this case, uh, Railroad Workers uh, uh, Union, uh, they uh, decided to uh, go on strike. The reason is uh, um, the uh, government has built uh, another private company for railroad services, uh, so we call SIT. Uh, so uh, the workers who work in the uh, Korean railroad company built some uh, the insecure about their employment because uh, government tried to um, uh, introduce uh, some private system in their company and tried to make uh, this public company to private one so they are so worried so uh, in order to secure th their job um, uh, they decide to go on strike so uh, this uh, last uh, like uh, four days uh, they um, had taken this uh, industrial action so it has caused a lot of inconvenience so it is protected by law so um, so we uh, cannot do anything as a ci uh, citizen because uh, they are uh, implementing their legal right that mm -hmm. protected by our legal system. Yeah. I see. So as you said, and uh, as uh, based on the some uh, news uh, published uh, mm. recently, uh, there there is a huge uh, inconvenience by the pub, um, pri uh, public sector. So and the uh, ordinary people mm -hmm. when traveling. But uh, you you said that this is a legal uh, uh, legal uh, mm -hmm. right yeah. for the railroad uh, workers union and. I understand it's, it's not easy to go mm. on a strike. So could you explain briefly mm. about the, the procedure until they can uh, go to the action? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a very good question. If the workers uh, go on strike, causing a lot of uh, disturbance uh, in the workplace, then those who participated in such a uh, 
uh, the striker may be punished or may be disciplined for their uh, disobeying the company's work uh, order. Uh, however, in this union strike, they are exempt from any some disciplinary punishment or some civil or criminal uh, the charge. The reason is uh, their action is protected by the uh, Labor Union Act and the, even the Constitution. So, but still, uh, union must follow legal requirement. Uh, uh, that is. Uh, um, like uh, during the effective period of a collective uh, agreement, they cannot take, they cannot go on strike. But after the expiration of uh, their collective agreement, then they uh, negotiate again for renewal of their collective agreement. In this period, they can demand more and more secure or higher salary. Then, um, then company will start to negotiate with. Uh, Union and then um, some labor dispute is coming from that moment. In that case, uh, either side can take uh, uh, like a mediation process uh, uh, before they take uh, uh, some collective action. So that is uh, usually through labor uh, commission, uh, they must go uh, to the commission for mediation process. Then uh, it will take. Uh, uh, 15 days, so after maybe in that 15 days uh, mediation process, um, like government suggests uh, some, uh, some mediation process, but uh, union reject uh, the mediated um, uh, the condition, then um, the union will have a right to take a strike. However, uh, they must take a second process, that is, uh, they must go through uh, democratic decision-making process. That means uh, they have a um, like a secret and direct vote um, system to make a decision for uh, the, um, the strike. So um, people they go on strike, they have to make uh, this uh, collective decision. Then uh, the strike is possible. So now the Railroad uh, Labor Union uh, has taken such a procedure. So uh, even though the, they take collective action for four days, but any time uh, they can uh, take uh, uh, such a collective action uh, repeatedly until the new collective agreement is made. I yeah. see, I see. So, uh, as you have just explained, it's a long procedure and uh, you have to go through all this procedure mm. until the uh, railway, uh, railway Workers' Union can go on a strike. So, at, the, at this point, what is the key uh, issue that the government and the labor union cannot agree upon? Mm -hmm. Can you explain? Yes, yeah, so uh, I read an article uh, about their uh, striking, mm -hmm. I'm their strike. So according to this, uh, this uh, newspaper article, uh, labor union demand um, like uh, job security in their workplace. Uh, they don't want to be in private, uh, privatization, I mean, uh, like making their public company as a private one. So they are worried about job security when uh, uh, this public company become a private one, uh, then their job security become very weak and usually private uh, employer um, they fire people very easily or they change the, they reduce the job security there. Also, second one is, uh, in order to make a more uh, uh, profit uh, in the rail, railroad business, they want to use a um, SRT line together with uh, the KTS line. So now, social station, they only the SRT trains are used, but they want uh, the, the KTS train um, uh, use uh, the line together. So then they will make more profit for uh, this uh, uh, their railroad business. So I think the demand are two, job security, and second one is uh, more profit um, based uh, uh, investment there. Yeah. I see. I hope that both parties settle down and that so that the uh, public uh, people uh, can 
avoid uh, some inconvenience. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thank you for asking. Uh, thank you. Uh, bye bye.